Hey guys, what is up? It's Duncan, and today I'm here with uh, actually some pretty surprising news. Um, pretty impressively, I might add, uh, Apple has just announced that they're going to have an event for the iPhone OS 4.0, and it's not going to be, as usual, you know, in like two weeks or a month, whatever. It's going to be in just a couple days, or uh, more specifically, the 8th, which is Thursday. Um, it's pretty impressive, i got to admit, that, that Apple's been able to go ahead and have the iPad release and all this kind of stuff, and then have this immediately afterward, especially with nobody finding out about it. Um, but yeah, guys, I'm going to go ahead and tell you all what we know about it, what we expect, and uh, yeah, pretty cool stuff. Anyway, let's get this one started. Okay guys, so um, the first thing is obviously the obvious thing, which is that uh, April 8th, which is this Thursday, um, Apple is going to have an event about iPhone OS 4.0, which is the next major jump in the iPhone software. Um, now, this is not really uncommon, every year they do this, but what is uncommon is to have the iPad come out, you know, just like three or four days ago. Um, so. It's going to be really interesting to see how the iPad and the iPhone OS, how they interact. Because, of course, the iPad runs a larger version of the iPhone OS. So to see how it works, it's going to be pretty impressive. Um, now, one thing about the iPad and the iPhone, because we might as well just call them both, it's the, it's the same thing at this point. One really interesting thing to think about is that there are a lot of things that we're expecting to find in iPhone OS 4.0. And... Seeing as the iPad runs it, I wouldn't be surprised if both of the platforms get a lot of really cool things such as multitasking, etc. Um, so, I'd, of course, nobody knows exactly what's coming for sure, but uh, I'll go ahead and give you guys a few of my predictions. Number one on the top of my list, absolutely no question, is multitasking. Um, every, all kinds of other phones have it. Um, it's not a, that big a deal anymore. I mean, it's really just crazy how Apple still doesn't do it. I wouldn't be surprised if they still don't have multitasking, but it's definitely the number one thing I'm looking for on my list. The second thing is more of a customization. Um, now, it could be as simple as you know just letting you use your own background, like an iPad um, obviously lets you set your own background image. Well, I would definitely, that would be the bare minimum I would expect out of iPhone OS 4.0. Um, what I would expect, hope to expect, is maybe like widgets, um, maybe more of like a home screen rather than all you see is just the uh, you know apps and stuff. Maybe you can customize it just like on a lot of Android phones. Customize it with maybe like a Twitter widget or whatever your mail, whatever you re really want. Um, and of course, you know one thing with all of these is that Apple always comes up with new, innovative, and cool stuff. So I absolutely would expect that they have some cool stuff. Um, but anyway, guys, that's about it. Not a whole lot to report other than it is coming on Thursday. And um, as always, uh, I will definitely have a video as, as covering everything new, as well as probably all the kinds of cool stuff. I'm, who knows, they might even uh, seed it out a little bit, and I uh, might show you guys firsthand. Anyway, guys, be sure to subscribe if you're interested, and uh, otherwise, just hang around and we'll see. Anyway, thanks for watching.